uh, Sam Stino from uh, Print Electronics Now. Dave, you write about the print electronics industry. I do indeed. Tell us how you found it evolve over the last few years, the whole sector. Well, it's really interesting because 10 years ago, everybody was talking about OPV, yeah. OLED displays, and now you see very interesting technologies like sensors, wearables, Internet of Things. It's really interesting how the market has changed. Yeah. It's really evolved, yeah. as, as you've noticed too, because you have all the co-located shows. Yeah. And you have a range of publications um, around inks and materials as well. So do you yes, think this is a big opportunity for inks and chemical companies? Absolutely. You know, it's interesting that some of the large players, certainly mm. some chemical comes to mind at DuPont, have strong positions in the field. I saw some people from Toyo here today. Right. You know, it's a good market. It's, it's, when you look at the possibilities, when you think about the, the internet of things, of internet of everything, as this, uh, one company puts it, or the, you know, the trillion sensors, well, the ink will have to play a role. There has to be something that's conductive. Yeah. yeah. So it's all very interesting indeed. So what for you have been some of the highlights of this event? Yeah, it's always interesting that I don't want to pick one or two out. But then, uh, then later on I'll be like, gee, you know, I forgot something. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I will say this, that uh, some of the talks have been just, just really fascinating. Great. Good. You know, I, I believe uh, when you hear some of the projects that are being done, a sensor side of things, it's very interesting. Great. I, I got to tell you, I do enjoy coming to hear the, all the interesting things. Great, thank you. And can you tell us a bit about Print Electronics now? Well, as you know, we've been around for I think about 10 years as a website. I remember, in fact, I was talking with somebody before, uh, the, the first show I went to, uh, ID Tech X, I think it was in a hotel in Phoenix. And then there was one in South San Francisco, right by the airport. Yes, right about that? that's right. Yeah, yeah. And now today, it's like, you know, you've, you've just about taken over this whole hall. So each year it gets bigger and you find some very interesting co-location, co-located projects. In fact, I'll tell you, I was telling somebody before, I thought it was really interesting that you folks have the 3D printing, you know, here. And now you see it connecting with the conductive inks and they're printing conductive inks. That's just great. So we've been doing this for 10 years as a website. You know, we, we, uh, three years ago we started doing a, a twice yearly magazine and I think we're doing okay at it. Excellent. It's kind of interesting. I think, we, uh, I think we were able to get the news. Yeah. I think so. it really helps to educate people about what's going on in the industry. And, and as part of Robin, Robin Publishing, which is our company, we have uh, 10 magazines and, and we have magazines and label printing in our web and, and they do stuff on this, coatings, my other magazine, Ink World. So, you know, to tell you the truth, uh, you know, there's, it's interesting, I look upon it as a Venn diagram. You know, we have uh, pharma magazines, medical products, right. you know, uh, personal packaging, you know, and, and all these areas have, a, have some of this in it. It really could actually become ubiquitous, to tell you the truth. Yeah. It's just a matter of when. Yeah. Dave, thanks very much. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.